Hello everybody, welcome back to more God of War. Today we'll be doing part 36. Now, uh, yeah, I haven't been able to play for a little while. You guys won't notice because I had a few days in which I made like six videos a day, so... But yeah, I haven't been able to record anything in a little while, so... My skills might be a little bit rusty. Uh, there's a snake serpent. What were we supposed to do? And oh yeah, we were going to Jotunheim. Um, I don't know how close I am to the end, so I might. I was gonna say I might explore a little, but I think that might be a little. Yeah, a little too much. Um. I think that, depending on where I end in this part, I might go do the, the things, Valkyries. You fellas sure love to make a racket, don't you? But I might go do the Valkyries in the next video, depending on where I end now. But if it's really just go to Jotunheim now, then no. I, uh, I will do this first. Um... You know what? No, screw it. I'm gonna do the Valkyries. Now there's something else. That. So. That's the place with the uh, Council of Valkyries. Mason entrance. Hidden Chamber of Odin. So yeah, I was gonna go back and see if there was a, a treasure chamber. Come on. Oh man, the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. I'm confused. I always heard that Baldur's mother was Frigg. Aye, Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved, something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right! Freya was Baldur's mother all along. <sighs> so yeah, back then uh, we could see the tower through that white fog there. And yeah. Now it's gone. Because it's back a... Uh, so, this is where we beat our first Valkyrie. And I was told that there should be something back here. Atreus, so to I me. I doubt it. Because I don't see anything. Maybe it was back there. I really shouldn't have upgraded that skill. So it might be back there. The only thing is, I don't know how to get there. Are these gates that I can open? No. Maybe this one? No. Yeah, I don't actually get why someone said the treasure chamber opens. Gonna, oh, I already have full. So I'm gonna check for a second. Because I already, got, I already got this one, so... And I did that before I beat the Valkyrie. Yeah, well... That sucks. Let's go to another country. So that was number one. Uh, hidden Chamber of Odin. Hidden Chamber of Odin. This one is back at the tree, but I'm not gonna do that one yet. Do I have another one? Yes. Home. Okay, so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do that one first. Because we all know there was one in the beginning. Um, Atreus even said that. Okay, tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. 
Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Huh. <gasps> wow. Mimir has a lot of tails. Okay, so we're home. I'm gonna equip these, just in case. Just in case something spawns. Now we can go back. If I remember correctly, there were vines. There they are. That way I don't have to... Tire guard again. Be ready. because during editing I noticed that it was a bit loud and I had to turn it down each time so I am fine Wow okay let's try that again. So they are only level 5 and level 6, so I should be able to do it. For some reason I can't, so... Maybe they grow stronger when I grow stronger? I don't know. Just speculation at this point. Can I actually enter my house? No? Okay. Okay, so... I need the blades. I need to destroy that. Ah, okay, so one strong attack is enough. Oh, wait. I'm gonna do this first. Okay, then next time I can just easily activate my rage. zero this has never never happened before unless of course I used L2 but I didn't so okay come on <clears throat> first off that swapping yeah no I find it odd that I uh, can't really do much there. I also find it odd that my Spartan Rage barely goes up. But really, barely at all. 
Come on. So yeah, now I'm just waiting. And now I only have one enemy left. Fire ones, the axe is still the best. Damn it! Do you not have a stone yet, boy? I forgot I had those. Okay. Seriously, I find it weird that he has not thrown me a stone yet. I was almost dead. And I have a funny feeling that there will be more spawning down here. There we go. them down then the rest is easy but you need to take a few of them down and that's not easy okay some more healing get more rage now let's see what's down here come on that's one Should have been two. That's two. And that's three. I don't know if the the amount of I can't believe it was next to Mother's Garden this whole time. No wonder we can never get in there. So I don't know if it's um its difficulty is linked to how often you need to break it. But if it is then I am in trouble. <laughs> Then I will be in serious trouble. And this place looks more beautiful than the other ones so far. True, I've only seen about five of them, but still. Five out of seven. You can start saying it's. What pretty. else did the serpent tell you when you spoke? 
Kind of sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Yeah. Um... Why is there something blue glowing? <laughs> I don't trust this Valkyrie. Valkyrie? I distrust it so hard that even my voice went, huh? For a second. Oh god, it's one of those things. I'm going down. See what's down here. What the? Why is there one of those guys down here? Once and I lost most of my health. So it's a good thing I was trying to level up. In this video, well, level up. Get items so that I can level up. There's still a difference. And I didn't want to use Spartan Rage on this one because, yeah, it's just too silly to do that for one enemy. Unless, of course, they're extremely powerful. Now, let's see. It's really just a circle with that in it. I don't want to. <laughs> Take this. Look here. Yes, sir. What does it say? Wonder who wrote this. New scroll found. Thief's testimony. To the next poor fool to find this place, you'd be wiser to flee than to brave the dangers within. But count yourself lucky if I came before you to unwittingly free the prior occupant and die a fool in the process. Oh, so he freed the Valkyrie. I came to tre for treasure and found only death on wings. I tried to step out of the realm, but she wouldn't let go. It tore most terribly. The tree bleeds for my foolishness. Her magic will surely ripple through this realm for ages, tearing at its fabric. And for what? I'm dead and she escaped just the same. Why did I fight it? Fool, fool, fool. My only solace is her jailer followed close behind. To Muspel it might have been or Niflheim. Either way she'll be caught though they're, they'll need a new prison. I've ruined this one. The lindworm comes for me. What the fuck's a lindworm? Do I, do I know what a lindworm is? Uh, bestiary. Uh, that's a worm. That's what I know. Nope. I don't see Lindworm anywhere. So this is gonna be the Lindworm. So the Valkyrie was freed. While I was reading that I thought, hey, maybe Freya was a Val- uh, not Freya. Faye was a Valkyrie, you know? The boy's mom, Kratos' lover. But then, then I remembered something, uh... And the fact that it's said about Niflheim and stuff. Okay, so let's see what's in there. I might not beat it, but let, let's at least see what's in here. Oh, jeez. Okay, so this one is not as strong as it appeared. Oh, 
Yes, I did that on purpose. I can't throw my axe for some reason. On, just one more. but get up with full Spartan Rage. If I can beat this guy, I think I might be able to... This guy. If I can beat this one, then I might be good for a while. Wait, there's a second one? I just got very unlucky in the beginning, so I can beat it, and I need to wait until the boy's uh, Wolverine was up. So that's taken. Boy, okay. Okay. Get back, get back, get back. <laughs> What? I got hit by something and I don't know what it was. I might have just ended it right then and there. Okay, so I need to get the... Uh, what are they called? I need to do some damage, then get into Spartan Rage and instantly start hitting on the summoner. The big guy is annoying, but I can take him if he's alone. The, the summoner, yeah, he just keeps summoning stuff, so... That's not gonna happen. Okay. I want. What? I died during Spartan Rage? That's the first. Come on. Also spamming the air, uh, the arrows. Yes. Okay. That should be it. And the thing is still in the center because I'm guessing I get some valuables from it. Yes? No? Does it spawn even more shit? No? Okay. See, it's very easy if you can take out the big guy first. Pure essence of the realm. Pure? Upgrade powerful talismans. Dust of realms. Oh, I get even more stuff. Heart of Svartelheim. That's a very small amount of constant health regeneration, stacks up to five times. Okay, so now I can restore health. 
And that is a talisman? No? Is it a rune? Uh, yeah, a runic. We. Blessing of cooldown on block. Burn, sprinting speed, permafrost, health burst. This one. Nice! What do I have now? Resistance to frost and runic vitality. Yeah, I'm gonna take the runic vitality and switch it up to this one. Runic and luck. So I lose two vitality. <laughs> Worth it. Um, what was this? Defensive armor runing, favoring runic. No, that's this one. It's the one I needed. Sockets. Take the runic one. And I think I can inscribe this one. I lose a lot of runic, but I gain a lot of strength, so... Okay. Yeah. That was harder than I thought, but yeah, no Valkyrie. Well, it was easier once you know what you need to do. But no Valkyrie. And I forgot to use my uh, talisman again. Okay, so, hidden chamber. Oh, it wasn't even called Hidden Chamber of Odin. So we did that one. And we have this one. So yeah. The thing is, the summoner died faster than, the Val than a Valkyrie would. So that's why it was easier. He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all. And it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hanged. Okay. So yeah, know that these, uh, this episode is pretty important seeing as Mimir will be telling a lot of, of stories and where is... oh there is the portal okay so the portal opens depending on where I am standing on this circle you don't have to run all the way to the place I just went but it's it's easier for me um, I think I already did everything down there I'm gonna wait a little I'll speed it up for you guys, I'll cut, down, cut out the camera too, so, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, that took a little while because I wanted to get at least some Spartan Rage. Now, uh, I'm gonna need a little bit of a sync point, so dodge to the left right now okay and roll all right two sync points good enough you activate it oh yeah this one Oh yeah, undodgeable, unblockable. Wow, I was late with that. I hope that I at least keep my Spartan Rage. I also don't have a Resurrection Stone yet. I could have gone and did that while I was boosting my uh, Spartan Rage. But I'm gonna try this one without, in that case. So yeah, respawn me right before I had my final Rage up. So the no resurrection stone is gonna kick me in the balls. Pretty 
I got over about halfway without a stone. I'm gonna get a stone. <laughs> I'm gonna need the stone and maybe I can upgrade some things as well. So Okay, so the tiny bit of health regen is nice, but it's barely noticeable. Okay, so first off this. I would like to get a smaller cooldown on the wolves because they're very useful, but I, I barely get to use them in a, multiple times in a fight. So I need to go here. Also, I don't know if the main story would continue if I uh, if I went back there, but so why do they call you never know. The the that refers to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge. The time he spent nine days a dead man. Aye, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side and bled down into the well of destiny. Yeah. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad? Yeah, you might have mentioned that. But yeah. Also still no gate. Ah, there it is. Well, the boy keeps getting uh, surprised by it. Almost get more rage. Yeah, the more Spartan rage I get, the better. Get for something and I really should do the you. alchemist and then fast me through missions. I really should. Um, upgrade. Don't have anything for the X. The blades. These are not the ones I'm wearing. That would be good, but I don't... Then again, what do I have now? I don't even know what I have on now. Oh yeah, first things first, buy, buy the resurrection stone. Um, this one, the Spartan Rage. I'm almost level six, by the way. Every runic attacks. Frost Giant Friends. Yeah, I could go with that one, but area of effect is better at the moment. Press armor. Make you something? Yeah, let's see what uh, what yeah. I have equipped Lots first. So, uh, the pommel. Where is it? Here. Curved grip of restoration. Okay, so that one. Strength, luck, and it's max level. Explosive grips of fire. So I might find a better one for that. And this one's upgraded to the maximum with a almost three minute cooldown yeah okay so my armor is all maxed out aside from my talisman and I don't think upgrading so it will give me more rage let's first see talisman summon a raging Muspelheim maelstrom but I need smoldering ember refresh all runic cooldowns also has a passive effect that increases runic when a runic attack is on cooldown. Meh. Rejuvenating fury. Small amount of fury when stun grabbing. These are not good. There we go. Uh, defense on a successful kill. Nope. Runic on successful kill. Successful kill. 
Landing Spear of Chaos on an airborne enemy. Okay, so these all suck. High activation chance to grant the burst of any successful execution is damn. Damn, any kill. I need any. any. Uh, successful critical hit. Okay, for a second I thought it was gonna be something totally different. Um, so I don't think I have anything useful. Dwarven Forge, imbued with runic and stuff. See, the problem is, because of my uh, runic, st runic stuff, my uh, runes in the sockets, I barely notice which one would be better and which one would be worse. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it at the resurrection. Oh, Eye of the Outer Realm, lost item. Okay, I'm gonna take this. That's uh, worth a lot, time. apparently. I think that's a rune for my armor. So, sockets, frost resistance, and we'll see what that is. Damn! Yep, I'm taking this one. <laughs> That's uh, useful. Let's get you square Why did I talk to you again? I didn't need to talk to you. Fine, um, upgrade, upgrade. Talisman. Activates after it to recover faster. Also has a passive effect that increases timing window on parries. Nope. I'm gonna upgrade this one. And I'm level 6, by you the way. Care now. Okay. So, let's go back. It was this one. Here's something I can't figure out. Odin wants to prevent Ragnar. But the serpent's already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already failed? Fate's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the old father may just agree. Yeah, I've... Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. If I'm not mistaken, then uh, then Kratos was has changed fate in the past. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. It's been a way too long time since I played the other games. Okay, so let's do this. Hey, wait for me. No. Here she comes. I have a giant beeping noise in my ear. Problem is I don't know if it's my game or just me. Come on. 
The only thing I asked of the boy. Take care of the ones in the back. Come on. Come on. Yes. I accidentally used the wrong attack. I was trying to block and I didn't block it. But I will be taking him. Ripping him to shreds. And punch you to death. Come on, Tara! Wow, I only just now noticed that her name is Tara. That was unfair. Ripping off your wings. Corrupt corrupted form is dead, so that's good. Another thank you? Thank you for releasing my physical form. I have only gratitude. Why were you trapped? I am uncertain. My mind still fragmented. The Rokstol of Valkyr. It is the last thing I remember. The what? Valhalla awaits. I must return. So the round table of the Valkyries that we found. Bam! And a thousand experience. Why do I get their head? There was also one enemy alive. The Luke Store of Valkyr. 
How about the Valkyrie it? Kara? It's Some a council chamber of sorts, hidden away in Midgard. The Valkyries would often need a place to confer outside of Odin's prying eyes. They thought themselves properly concealed, but the All-Father sees all, so the saying goes. Where is it? Remember the room with the eight thrones? I think so. We've been to a lot of different places. It's to the left of the two oarsmen statues. I didn't call it out for what it was at the time. I didn't know for sure. Think we'll find out why the Valkyries are like this? That chamber held a special significance for them. We'll find something there, I'm certain of it. Yeah, okay. Talisman of the Realms, Epic Talisman. Summon a realm shift that temporary, temporarily slows down surrounding enemies. Upgrade to increase duration of realm shift. In other words, I'm gonna go super fast. Or at least I'll, uh... Damn, and I get an upgrade from that too. Um, at least I'll get more time to do damage. As Guardian Metal, found on scraps of Valkyrie armor, used to upgrade armor, pommels, and talisman with the power of the Valkyries. So if I beat all of them, I think I might get some super powerful armor, and that's a lot of use. That's more of the Asgardian steel. That is something like a serpent. Heart of Midgard. Increase damage inflicted from all barehanded attacks by 6%. Okay, barely use barehand. Okay. Now, pick up everything I find from my enemies, because I beat a lot of them. I don't get to see anything that is, looks like gold. Yeah, people told me there are treasure chambers when you beat a Valkyrie that open up, but... I might have glitched it and it might have been the ones that are down here. You know, the giant doors that have always been open to me. See these doors? Because I already looted this before. Okay, now I might need to go back and get another resurrection stone. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna see what it does, my uh, new talisman. But I think I might upgrade it first. More stories, Mamir? Come on. So yeah, him standing still for that long is a loading screen for this. Mamir, why do you have Bifrost crystals in your eyes? A loving gift from the giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Whoa. Got so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put them in my nipples instead. <laughs> <laughs> Almost talked them into it too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost teach. <laughs> ah, those were the days. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now. The meal of the bifle speeds. Wow. Ah, uh, that would have been funny though. Okay. Time to upgrade. You of dead alchemist when needed finding. Oh, and it takes his guardian steel. Of course it does. And now I need uh, perfect as guardian steel. And it takes a lot of hex silver too. But I did get a good upgrade. 10, 15, and 16. So I'm not complaining. So yeah, everything I had was maximum. And this was what this was my axe, I needed my blades. Yeah. Protective barrier preventing damage from any enemy attack. Landing successful rising strike on an enemy. I don't know which one that is. Okay. Yes, uh, wait, 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 wait. So what you check lost items there? first. Nope, okay. And uh, buy resurrection stone. I get 10,000 from a battle. I need to use a resurrection stone so I get it back instantly. Great. Now, this is stuff I can sell, by the way. Um. Gonna sell some of these. Because we all know I'm not using them. Bounty twice. I'm gonna sell bounty. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, no. You hitting the Just road or the But unfortunately, that's probably gonna be all for this video. Um, I'm gonna keep continue. I'm gonna continue hunting Valkyries. I might upload these in one go. All the Valkyrie videos that I can do. Um, depending on how far ahead I am, because right now I'm still three episodes or something ahead. So if I can find all of them now, well, the ones I know, then I might upload them at the same time. So yeah. But uh, but yeah, <laughs> I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna continue on with the main story yet because I don't know if I'll come back. If you like the video, leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe. I have Twitter, it's in the description box below. Just make sure you, sh you, uh, you press show more. Many people don't do that on YouTube, apparently. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one. As always, it's been a pleasure. Bye!